Hey guys, today with me here is a treat. It's a TVS 872N, fresh out of factory, QNAP's latest 8-bay NAS. And I'm telling you right now, this is the 8-bay NAS to get. And the reason why, you might have heard of the 872XT. This guy is $1,000 Australian cheaper than the 872XT. This is the best value 8-bay NAS I have seen. It's almost as cheap as my 4-bay XT NAS. Now, there have been some compromises to make this guy cheaper. Instead of 10 GBE, he only has 5 GBE. Instead of Thunderbolt 3, well, you don't get that, <laughs> okay? But you do get a quad-core i3 8th generation Intel processor. And I've got, a, I've got a Pentium Gold processor, and that guy is plenty good. So this one is twice as fast as that. Boom shakalaka, I'm very happy and excited about that. You also get 8 gigabytes RAM, which is twice as much as my 472 XT. So the value on this is amazing, but, but, it's 1,000 friggin' dollars cheaper than the XT 8-bay version. So look at this over here. I've got a 10 GBE adapter. Now I've got a more expensive one because I've actually got a treat for you guys. I've also got, this is the cheapest 4-bay NAS you can get, and I'm gonna be doing some performance comparisons, finding out the processor specs and the speed and all this kind of stuff for the cheapest one to the most expensive one to the mid-range ones, doing these amazing upgrades with M.2 SSDs just to see how fast of performance you can get from this NAS when it's running 5 GBE and when it's running 10 GBE and when it's running with an SSD M.2. This is gonna be a fun series of videos. Stay tuned for the ride and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get started because I'm very excited. When I, when I first opened up this box, it was massive crate size. This is like straight from the shipping factory. Uh, get this. <laughs> it is completely empty on this side. Yes, the box. Right, so this is the TVS 872N, and it's the younger, newer brother of the TVS 872XT. So let's see what we get in the box. First up, you get the warranty, lots of replacement bits, and as part of these little bits, you also get screws, and what's cool is you get heat sinks for an SSD, M.2. Three Ethernet cables, the power plug, and the drive itself. Oh. Two gigantic fans there. We're gonna be doing noise tests. You get USB A and USB C, a five gigabit ethernet connector, and two one gigabit ethernet connectors with two expandable PCIe slots. Gorgeous. It was so big and exciting. So anyway, I'm gonna be, we're gonna be setting up this 8-bay NAS together. I'm gonna to be doing in-depth tutorial videos to show you guys how to set up yourselves. So I hope you enjoyed this series of videos where I'm gonna go deep into the heart of QNAP's amazing line of NAS drives. We're gonna be showing you how to set it up, Wi-Fi, instructions, M.2 upgrades, unscrewing the boxes, installing a PCI adapter, installing RAID 6, in making it go multiple bays, it's gonna be fun. So let's get started. So to open up these trays, you just pull them down from here. And then you can lift this part up and they just slide right out. And then you get a slot to put in your hard drive. You get two four gigabyte dims of memory. And this is what the beautiful insides look like. open the case you just pull it back and then you lift to the sides and upwards and it just comes out and once you open the case you have a lot more access so the PCIe slots they go in here you got a full wide one there and a mini one and this gives you upgrades for your PCIe and on this side you have 
Look at that heat sink, that gigantic heat sink, multiple fans, looks really beautiful. And this heat sink is for that quad core processor. There's the power supply. This is where all the hard drives slot in on those SATA ports. And when we get round to doing our M.2 SSD upgrades, this is where they slot in. Now we could go ahead and do all the upgrades at this point, but I figured it'll be a lot more comprehensive to first get the system set up, started up, and then installing each upgrade one by one, going from the 10GBE to an M.2 SSD.